Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Vanilla with no mods installed as some of you guys did comment from the last video. Um, I'm your host, of course, Mr. Polish Lover, but right now we are finishing off Press the Habs Proclaim. Now technically we did this earlier, but we can still stick in alliance with the Kaiser. We'll wait and see what happens. But we did this one earlier even though it's supposedly, you know, auto went by, auto completed, but Hungary's been too long without a king and our Duke Otto von Habsburg remains without a throne to call his own. We must press a relative's claim on the throne to secure Habsburg rule in Europe. Let's see what happens. The Kingdom of Hungary crowns a Habsburg. It appears the ultimatum of the Kingdom of Hungary has convinced them to crown Otto von Habsburg as King of Hungary. With Habsburg now on the crowns of both Hungary and Poland, a new heir of Habsburg rule across Europe is, a dawn, is dawning upon us. Oh yeah, it's all coming together now. Ah yeah, a crunk. Cool, and I think I read this one earlier, so, or in the last video, so if you want to read about Royal Officer Corps, please, 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 go right ahead. Cool. Right now, we're doing okay. Um, look, we're lucky that... Uh, Germany actually went the monarchist route this time. Uh, as you see, the provisional Russian government did win their war against good old Soviet boys, even though they're still fighting, well, some Central Europeans, or not Europeans, Asians. Um, we're building some civvies, we're building some millies. We could just metal check forts, but I really want to get Czechoslovakia with us. I mean, Austria-Hungary having that is... It's okay. But it's better, of course, under us, as we're trying to get more army XP, more naval XP, and, yeah, I guess even some more... Air XP, but that's quite alright. And Uzbekistan is now gone. So after this, a Habsburg alliance wouldn't be too bad. Trusting the West, well, any other country at peace with the Kingdom of Poland. This faction leader considered major. Current ruling party is democratic. Well, I guess technically, yeah, any major faction. Um, the Allies, well, they've got Mr. Handsome there, so they're not necessarily democratic. The US ha doesn't have a faction yet. Uh, we got another division, which is nice. Ooh. That doesn't look good. Just, but that's just because of exercise. Um, let's see, Otto, are you down here? The Kingdom of Lithuania, look at that. What will this mean for us? Well, welcome. Oh, you're actually allied with Austria. Hello. Oh, did you auto get those ones? Hungarian monarchy. Habsburg restored. Um, I'm going to assume they're going to go with a Habsburg prince, maybe? We'll see what happens. Uh, Lithuania. Oh, look at that guy. Mindaugus! Mindaugus the third, a soldier king! Ah, oh, look at us! Look at us! Anything over here? Oh, uh, not a line, and you guys are going down the line as well. Um, uh, competent military. Oh, they're kind of competent, huh? Even though they're not... No, claim Livonia. Oh, look at that. Wow, they get a lot of claims. They want to fight the Russians by themselves? And they get a lot of cores, so we'll see what happens. We got enough PP, but we definitely need some conscription. Uh, we improve the entrance of some tanks. It, of course, is 1938, everybody. And what else are we going to do? Fuel. Fuel actually would probably be really smart to get. But, mm, yeah, I might as well get some more fuel. Why not? We don't get that much. We get an okay amount of daily gain. That's, it's an okay amount. We're still building more civvies, more millies. Very nice. The Royal Officer Corps, of course. And now, followed up the concept between the seas. That's not bad. We could create our own faction and get the Romanians in with us. Alliance with the Baltic States, too. With the Med. Alliance with the Kaiser. Oh, we can't trust in the West, so. Um, a Habsburg Alliance? The Kingdom of Poland seeks to join the F Pact of Rome. Well, I don't want to do that one. I don't want the Pact of Rome. I do want to reclaim West Slavia, though. Ooh. We can get an alliance with them. But I we, we have to do that. Join the Czech military. Ooh. I don't want to join their Pact of Rome exists is not a faction is faction leader is at peace with us any ally country at peace which exclusive with trust in the west honestly i'd prefer the the between the seas concept just so that we can do the a lot of packs invite sweden treaty of lithuania and we invite them to our faction austro-hungarian alliance still defend czechoslovakia well they're kind of gone now protect yugoslavia Italian alliance, prepare for the inevitable. Huh. Must be an... Oh. What, we have to war, be at war with the Germans or the provisional Russian government. More than 50% surrender progress. King of the exiles. Oh, wow. Um, well then. This is awkward. Prepare for the next war, probably. The Great War may have only been the first of its kind. We must prepare for what they must surely be an ever-changing battlefield. Because, yeah, Pact of Rome without Italy being in that's not bad for us, but... Still. So it's probably best if we create our own faction. Honestly, I hope that Lithuania... Mutual assistance. Peace with Poland. Um, permanent peace. 
Trust and victory. That's not bad. Uh, exploit the international bank. The kingdom of Poland demands abdication. If they accept, we become a personal union between them. We restore the commonwealth. Improved armor. At this point, we might as well go ahead and get some more output. And do more land auction. Yay! Not too shabby. Alright, high command, air superiority. Ooh, armor. Ooh, that looks pretty good, but armor, we don't have that much armor. We really don't. Ooh. I would like to go to war economy, but we have to be fascist for that. Anything else over here? The king of the castle. That's not bad. Um, not real. Let's say if I get to 150 PvP first. Prepare for the next war. So, I want to do this one, but I don't want to join the pack. But we want to do that one eventually. We'll see what the Germans do. So apparently, we need. I've heard that we can only go one way. We can if we go one way, we could go all the way for one first. Plan West, Silesia, the Prussian line, Sudeten Mountaineers, the Prussian Guard. I kind of want to go east first. Defensive plan, Eastern Conscripts, Fortification of the North, Ukraine, Belarusian Army, the Ruthenian Army, Complete Plan East. Allows access to Plan West if not completed already. This allows completing further focuses in the Plan East branch. Plan West, the Prussian Guard, Student Mountains, Expand Poses on Forts. Or, we can integrate Gdansk. Yeah, let's go to that one next. For decades, Gdansk has been separated from the rest of the nation. But no more. By integrating Gdansk into our administration, we will be able to reclaim our control of our exports and imports. Not bad. What the? Oh, well, I guess Italy joined them. Okay, then. Huh. Well, then, we got some comments to go through as well, such as add a Habsburg to each major power. We can try. We'll see what happens. Uh, no mods? Oh, what's wrong with me? Well, it's because of the time's recording. The mods are all broken. I guess technically I can go back to older mods, but that's still okay. And apparently, someone says I pronounce Czech names decently well. Thank you. I don't try too hard, but I do try to make sure I do... An okay effort at pronouncing at least names that are foreign to me. So, I do try on occasion. Uh, okay, so we have Smooth Talker, Staunch Aristocrat. That's really not too bad. Uh, War Industrious is okay. I want more consumer goods. How many consumer goods do we have currently? Ooh, 25%. Not very conductive to the war effort. Anything here? That's pretty generico. Pretty generico. Yeah, they're all pretty generico. Uh, we need more. Yeah, that's not bad. That's better. It's not great, but better. National Defense Fund will be pretty darn e decent as well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Minus 15% consumer goods. Citizens and state alike must contribute to the funding of a growing industry to prepare for the perils of the years to come. Oh, absolutely. So... These guys aren't in a faction, right? So what happens if we just take them out? Oh, they're still fighting. What happens if we just go say hello? I know Poland probably doesn't want any more Belarusian immigrants and stuff like that, but... Or migrants. But maybe we want to add them to our sphere. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I want to go to war with somebody. And I hope the Germans don't go to war with us. Redoubt against Russia. National revitalization. National Brotherhood. Re revive the Kaiserreich. Clamp down on fascism. Autarchy. Gross and... Better loser. Fewer refining. Get some more cap. That'd be good. And focus a little bit more industry too as well. Oh, what is this? Ah, improved, improved lighting chassis. Nice. Interwar... Do we really upgrade this at all? No, we do not. That's fine. Um, this was this was a better one to upgrade to anyway. So, cast armor, riveted armor. Oh, this is even better. Cast armor is even better. This gives you a lot. Twenty one. This is best. Yeah. I try to keep using some. Oh. Main armaments. We already have a small armament. Oh no, we already have the medium armament. Do we? Requires light, fixed superstructure and a turret slot. We can't do that one, okay. So we can do any one of these. Improve small cannon. Improve small cannon. We can't do that one because... It requires... Oh! Light fake superstructure. We already said it. Alright, so there's what we have. Mm, automatic cannon. Close support gun. Allows the artillery roll. Huh. 25 soft attack is pretty good. Heavy machine gun is okay. Basic high velocity cannon. Tank destroyer roll. Small cannon. 
This gives you negative point two breakthrough. Wow. I mean, could you max this out? That'd be so cool. We'll deal with this later, but like, I just want more army XP. It's so hard to get army XP, especially as a small nation. It's difficult. It's difficult. But yeah, I, I want to go to war with somebody. I want to see what conflict is like. Um, yeah, this one's next. And. Do we have it? Yeah, we do. And we got a melee and a civvy. Nice. Is this considered a core of ours yet? Yes, it is. Oh, for. Kashubia. Where the heck is Kashubia? Oh! Hello! We're questioning Belarusian sovereignty? Pretty much, man. Well, I guess we have the Kingdom of Livonia. Getting kind of weird here, but that's okay. Well, the Baltic states are uniting. Oh! Ignite the Civil War. A foreign agent is attempting to claim the Polish throne by seeking out internal support from within a government. If we keep popular internal support low, we may be able to subvert the question of their claim entirely. Oh. Ignite the Civil War. Uh, who's doing this? Who's doing this? Growing is not active. Growing monarchy sentiments. Wait, what? I mean, we were trying to push it higher in Czechoslovakia. Ooh. Their current claim strength. Are you doing... Um, the Forest Brothers. I guess with them supporting monarchism, yeah, they're doing that one. Uh, well, I hope they die. I really hope they die. Zog submits to Italy. They claim the Mel. Well, crap. Are you still coming for us, Germany? What's in their focus? Can they actually kill us? Because I, I, I don't know if they can. No. Focus on the true enemy? I hope they go with the true enemy. Poland. Tackle the Eastern Threat. Iberian Problem. Formalize a treaty. We might be able to stay alive. Danzig for guarantees. Guarantee for territory. Carte Blanche. Uh, well, I guess we'll see. Need more army XP. We need it. We desperately need it. A little concerning over here. I would like to go to war with them too, but... We'll see, man. Uh, I want to do this one, but... Actually... It's not a faction. Yeah... I kind of want to do this one. Uh, Joseph Pilsuski has an ambition for an alliance of nations spanning between the seas. Poles, Romanians, former Commonwealth members, and even Italians working together. Um, <clears throat> former Commonwealth members and even Italians working together to ensure their mutual continued survival without giving an inch on the sovereignty. But now we stand in a position to fulfill Pilsudski's daring vision. We're reaching out to Romania. We'll find make, we'll make the first step to making the Intermarium a reality. And then we have to do this. Well, I'll read this one first. Or perhaps our sit on the thrones of Poland and Hungary. Perhaps it's time to reform us familiar ties into an alliance. Let's, let's do that one first. Maybe we can do the other one. And maybe we can just leave. My hope is that we can just leave. Wait, well, I can do a land auction already. 40. Oh. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> National Defense Fund? It's not bad. Keep building, 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 building. Oh, this guy's got an eye patch. It's kind of cool. Oh, good. Oh, I, was, I thought what was going on. Ireland. Well, what is France up to? What are you guys up to? This first industry is pretty nice. Um, guns, yes. Guns are quite bueno. Trucks are nice. We definitely want more planes. Yeah, get a lot more casts as well. Interwar chassis. Hmm. It's not bad, but we'll get some more fuel by ourselves. How many more days do we have to wait for Belarus? Oh, they meet. Seek immediate repatriation. Okay. Well, good luck, guys. Uh, sea Wolf. Lone Wolf. Yes. We do both those for that group. That's fine with us. 
And better artillery, yes please. 1939, of course. Get some better engineers, because... Actually, what does that unlock? Huh. Light Flame Tank Companies. That's kind of cool. Lose Breakthrough and Heart Attack. And Defense Assault Stack. Medium Flame Tank Companies. Oh, I like that. Upgrades. Oh, I get some Entrenchment. Dozer Blade. What's this? Flamethrowers? Nice. Very cool, actually. Ooh, actually, you don't want to go there. There you go. Tanks? No. It feels weird not researching any of this stuff in 1941. Basic medium chassis? Might as well. I don't want to have a Civil War, man. How are you guys winning so well over here? I just do not understand. Perhaps break a line. Let's see what happens. Unite the railways. Railways? Railways. What is this? Subs. Railway. New military academy. Our high command lays barren and empty, but this leaves a golden opportunity to plant the seeds for the future. Of ensuring that future journals of loyalty to our nation and highly educating all the war art of war. But fun and military academies across the nation will ensure that any new Polish officers are of higher caliber than any of their predecessors. We welcome us to the Pact of Rome. Oh, we shall set our differences aside for now. Well. At least we have Austria. Time to call people into war, right? Oh, guard kind of sucks, man. Alright, so if that's the case. Can we here? Come against the Belarusian state. Will relations like this? No. Will this cause us to turn against and fight Ro uh, these guys? Maybe. Let's get our guys over there. Uh, do ding dong ding. Standing by, you say? Well, we'll see what happens. And I can actually W. That'd be nice. There you go. Thank you. Um, there's not enough here for us to really want to use too many of these guys. But I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. Logistic strike. Oh, look at that. Well, let's save that for later for now. Anything here interesting? Nope. That's okay. Let's see what happens. Of course, we could go down to export itself, or whatever. Advanced machine tools. I'll get some rubber out of that. That's better to get too. And make sure to keep making stuff. Keep making stuff. Never stop. Three, two, one. Yes, we question our sovereignty. We should be okay. Don't call in allies. Overall, looking so far pretty good, maybe except for there. Doing some ground damage. Getting hopefully quite a bit more air speed. Oh! Well this oh like Spanish monarchy too! Look at that! How good for them! I guess the Carlos did win down here. Nice hat, Javier. The sacred king. This is going extremely well for us. Why is it going so well? Holy crap. They lost 43 people? 43,000, I mean? Hungary's considered a major power now. Polish military ain't doing too bad, I'd say. And I do want to use a lot of cavalry, because we do have a cavalry bonus to him. No. Oh, yeah, we have a cavalry bonus to the Royal Cavalry. Attack and defense? Nice. Very nice. Oh, what's this? Oh, Portugal is killing itself. Oh, China. The commentary still exists? The Betsk? Uh, yeah, just going to go mail. Well, not, not nearly as much army XP as I wanted, but liked. Um, it's probably best if we just pop at them, but I need their uh, utilities. Not bad, not bad. Oopsie. Um, so long this war lasts for Livonia. Now the rest of you guys come back down here and do what? You can see these guys, the Ukrainians. Well, they're not necessarily free factories, but. Four divisions will be assigned. I think it's a little more than four. So, who's in the commenter? Just you two. You three. That is a sad commenter. Who can help out China but now? Also, um, the Imperial Kwantung Territories did rebel. So, Pu Yi's here. China's got volunteers from fascist Britain. Yeah. If we demand to take everyone out, I mean, I'm kind of not okay with that. It makes it a little easier for us. Uh, uh, wait, what? The fascists, the allies are fascists in this timeline. The back of Rome do be looking pretty nice, not gonna lie. We do be looking pretty good. Vladimir the Third. 
Oh, well, it's our dumb. Oh, they're gonna come knocking on our door eventually. That's not good. Um, our reclaim the Slavia. Yes. Kashubians, Palabians, and Sorbians, too, are West Slavic people, and yet so many of them remain outside our borders and beyond our influence. If we're to be the protectors of the West Slavic people, we must protect all West Slavic people. Honestly, I'll probably leave the faction eventually, but for now, I think it's for the best. We'll take out these guys. I'll take out the Baltic states the best we can. Ooh, that does not look very good now, does it? Let's motorize this area a little bit better. Less effects. Um, honestly, this, this area could honestly use a supply hub, but... Oh! Okay, then. All right. Uh, British Empire. So, honestly, with this this whole thing, we'll probably leave. Let me know. Should we take out Hungary or should we not take out Hungary in this timeline? Let me know in the comments below. Because I don't mind staying with them for now. But, like, in the future, I probably want to take them out. Oh, they, they were forced to go this way, huh? Take Austria by force. End of referendum. Restoration of Austria-Hungary. Protection of Slovakia sounds really good to us, too. Claim Galicia. You better not. Claim Transylvania. Reclaim the Empire. Um, we might just reclaim the Empire for ourselves. Make it easy on us. Um, doctrines available. Well, I would like to see them. Oh, infiltration. Did this get a, uh, change at all? Because I, I almost always go infiltration. Max planning's okay. No more organization. Breakthrough's not bad. Uh, that's okay. How about infiltration? You get the same amount of breakthrough and organization immediately. Better tanks. Supply so consumption. Better daily command power gain, which is nice. More land out of tech, which is very strong. Yeah, you get more organization just up here in general, so I like that one. Nice. Go and train as well. Tanks, how'd you do? Oh, we did lose all of our army. God dang, XP. Okay. Uh, disarm the militias? Yeah, might as well. The Dawn of the American Union. Well, I mean, that makes sense. The American Union, the French joined, and they're fighting everyone else over there. Which is fine with us. I mean, I'm glad we have this timeline so we don't have to think about it too much. But FDR... Italy... G Germany, what are you up to? Just don't be up to us. Could go to war economy. Well, as soon as these guys are done, I would... Oh, hello. Is it... Yeah. In oh, India. And Yugoslavia joined... Ch uh, this is a weird timeline. But it's not unsalvageable. It's a very weird timeline, my friends. Very weird. But that's okay. I mean, this is not too bad. It's still manageable. And it's totally not unmanageable, so which is good. Uh, let's go down to limit exports for now. Just because I want to save a little bit on resources. We take out enough small people that we can build ourselves up to be pretty darn good. Uh, F7. Look at its compliance. It's slowly going up. Resistance is still probably going up as well. Which means we're going to need an intelligence agency. Is that a good intelligence agency name? It might be. You guys are still trying to kill each other off. My goodness. And we still have 100 days left. Oh my goodness. But we're playing West Slavia. Just in case. You never know. You know, the railways. That would be good to do. So you can alliance with the Kaiser. No, I don't think we will. Plan West. I'm going to wait to see what the Germans are up to before we do any of that stuff. I'd rather just manually justify anyways. How about, is there a justify thing? Just if... No. For the Cossack King, Yes. Oh, he gets even better cavalry attacking defense. We gotta play that round sometime too. Well, everybody, now, well, it's 1940 and we're investing in eastern Poland. I don't know if I read this earlier, but the east, of course, is a barren and desolate place, neglected entirely by both the Russians and the Polish state. There's a plethora of ideal locations for factories and plenty of men with which to work them should we choose to invest in such things. Which sounds pretty darn good, at least to me. Um, up next, we could. Uh, ally with the Germans, but uh, central region strategy? By centralizing factories far away from any borders, we'll boost our production while also protecting them from any would-be conquerors. As we are getting very close to having the time... Oh, look at Germany doing German stuff. Um, getting close to invading Livonia. So, I do kind of hope that they do take out the... these guys up here? Estonians? Or Latvians, I should really say first. Uh, so that we can get, like, free territory, basically. But, we'll have to wait and see. This arm monarchist sentiments, yes, please. That'd be very nice. And yeah, so justifying. Well, we'll see what happens as we continue to build ourselves up, get more infrastructure, get a lot more things. Just period. And these guys are not going to die, are they? We have time to go in. Screw it. We're going in. I don't want to wait longer. Who's here? You two. See what you can do. Oh! Oh, they joined the... Hmm. 
They joined the Pack of Rome. I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. Do you have any upgrades? No? Alright. How can we not win here? We can't pierce us. We have air superiority. Huh. We're not going to take all the land. I don't care. I won't take all the land. We might as well reform the Commonwealth, you know. Might as well. Now, of course, with these guys, we could fight the Germans, potentially. No guarantee that we'll do very well. But... Actually, you guys are 3 with Recon. You guys are what? 18 with Engineers. Oh, say it so. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so nice. You know what? We might as well just go to where the Germans next. Central Region Strategy. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Keep going on in. See what the best we can do. Yeah, take out the Germans. I oh, also France capitulated to the British Empire, so... It is what it is. Well, Gary the Central Powers. Oh. Uh, Italy is claim. Investing in the old Polish region. The new Polish industry. Central Defense of Poland. That's not bad. New Polish industry. With the West now reclaimed from the Germans, we must develop the burgeoning industries in cities like Gdania, which are rapidly coming to rival Warsaw and Grandier. What do you over here? Oh, Air Force Command. Oh, yeah. Um, honestly, I prefer air superiority. So, oh, Livonia, nice. Obviously, we don't deserve very much here, but I'm still going to take everything because I'd rather form the Commonwealth like this. Oh, if we can. Well, I don't have to put those peace conferences on, but we get all the score anyways. Okay. Thank you. Pact of Rome. Would this be enough to take on the Germans by ourselves? That's a very, very good question, which might just end this campaign. What is this? Reform the Commonwealth. Oh, average compliance in this region must be higher. Must be very high. Okay, whatever. Um, you guys come over here and do that. Honestly, you probably want to join him too. You all can come right here though. And see what you can do. The tanks though will come right here ish. Go like that, maybe perhaps. Yes. No. Potentially potentially. Not potentially, but potentially. And do some of that too. And that's why we Oh, actually don't don't guard these guys too. I want to see if we can just do it by ourselves. Because if we can, then we'll just leave the lines and kill everyone else around us. Just normal stuff. Normal stuff. Anyone else have upgrades? No. Anyone have upgrades here? No. Big sad hours. Alright, anything else we have here? Uh, duplication stuff. Deploying. Not bad. Uh, do we have any other planes at all? Couple fighters. Not bad. Couple fighters. Not many, but a few. Deck conversions for 1940. Happy 1940. Let's get some better planes as well. Would we be able to do well here? Well, let's stop training first. Go home. Oh. Naval maneuver. Make them available as a commerce rating specialist. Naval experience gain. More speed is not bad. Eh. Honestly, convoy rating is probably the one you probably want to go with for you. And what else do we have here? Anything else here? Ooh. That's anything else. Oh, converted battleship hull. Um, I prefer this one, honestly. This one's a little bit better. But honestly, this stuff is still not great. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, don't even bother making it for now. What we have is good enough. So, we need a little bit more aluminum. Are we importing from any place? No. Nice. Um, after New Polish Industry, expand the University of Warsaw. Well, we need more. How many more civvies? We need more than 50 owned factories. 50 owned factories. Huh? Expand Krakow Industries. Poland's old capital, Krakow, has been freed from the clutches of the Austrian Empire, but still the city remains shackled by its past. Lacking the modern industries that needs to arrive in the West, with we'll investment we can shall bring Krakow back from the dead. Can we actually win here? It doesn't seem like we really can. We need way more infantry division, so let's do this first. In the meantime, let everybody train. If they need to, of course. Uh, do that, and yeah, that's fine. There you go. Do a lot more. Do a lot more. We have the we have the equipment for it. You guys seem okay-ish here. Okay. Mm uh, mm, Romania, why'd you join the common turn? You're fighting. Huh. And we have Vladimir the Third here too. So very questionable. Go ahead and lower this too so we can get some more cores here too. That'd be good. Uh, 1940. Better anti-air perhaps? Maybe? 
Miners. Oh, that's, that's pretty good too. Mm, unite the railways. Uh, passing supplies through the Sudentan Mountains is a cost and inefficient affair. We must join key areas of our railways if we are to defend the entirety of our new nation. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, keep making some of those. Keep making some of those. Keep making some radars as well, perhaps. Very good. Anywhere we have supply issues currently. If we do, that's not good. Oh, is Vienna our capital now? Keep motorizing everything. Oh, hello, look at this. Oh, you guys are fighting each other. Nice. Kill each other off, please. Please, just kill each other off. I guess, you no, know, Krakow is our... Oh, it's their capital, not ours. It's their capital. That's fine, whatever. So, how much compliance do we have here? F6. It's not very good. Even Belarus is going to take quite a while. I guess we'll go industrial concerns, because that's what I usually like to do. Also, we did develop or invest in a little bit more in our tanks here. Basic medium chassis. It, uh... It do be looking pretty good with quite a bit of speed. Reliability is generally okay enough. Um, our hardness is pretty good. Armor is pretty decent. Soft attack is pretty decent. Hard attack is pretty bad. Yeah, actually, those tanks are really bad compared to other tanks. But that's A-okay for now. Of course, we'll unite the railways. I just want to see if we can attack. Can I just push you all out? Just train. I just, I just want to know what Germany's up to. I wish we could see what Germany's up to. We need more manpower, god dang it. Can we actually win? I hope we can. Oh, what are you guys doing? Well, how about you guys get to the line and stop being dumb? That might be why we can't get, we can't win yet. Because we still have level no forts. Wait, what? We have level one forts. So why would we want to dismantle these? That makes no sense. Why it's like that? Uh, military police? No? Okay. So you guys will literally be the police here. That's a little slightly better. Um, 20 combo with, of course. Do you have any anti-air? No, that's not bad. Armored recon? Sure. Weight goes up, supplies, organization goes down. Speed actually goes down. The tanks are quite slow. But give us slightly more armor. Is that worth it? You get quite a bit more piercing and breakthrough. Eh. Eh, is, is it really worth it? Honestly, not really, no. Motorized? Would still probably honestly be better. Yeah, you get quite a bit more defense. More recon. Yeah, you might as well go with that one for now. But let's see. Let's take Wolchichowski. Wolchichowski? I'm probably saying that one wrong. Uh, you might as well. Actually, we can do a little bit better to cover it. a little more states than that. Maybe, you know. No, okay. The triple Entente. Russia and Russia. Wait, what? Russia and Russia have announced a renewed military cooperation. Three decades after the end of the old tripartite Entente. A relic from the past. Wait, who? What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is... Oh, no, no, no. Holy crap. The triple Entente. The Allies, France, basically, just, who's dead. Italy. Oh my goodness. That's not good. So if anything, what we should do is probably leave the faction. Well, take out the central parsers. Leave the faction. Or not. Mm. That's really not good. We're going to need a lot of divisions to hold out. If we, if it's just us holding out against those Russians and whatnot, um, we can just hold, put, plop some divisions down here. We should hold okay. Put some divisions down here. We should do okay. If we can take out the Germans first, and then fight these guys. Uh, I don't know. The Synarch is packed. Oh, okay. Prelude to more fighting. Dominican Republic joins the Synarch's plot. Um, okay. All right then. Good luck. Let me get some more manpower first. Can we actually win here? It says no! It says big fat no! I wanna try it anyways. Well everybody, fade in, fade out, trying out different things here and there, and let's just say when I tried to invade the German Empire, it didn't go so well, but we're expanding Katowice's resources. Despite its relative small size, Upper Silesia is a treasure trove of steel and aluminum. Although it would be ideal to control the entirety of Silesia, we must now exploit the Upper Silesian industry to the fullest. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Um, I'm probably still going to go ahead and... We might join 
and alliance with the Entente. We'll see what happens. We can go and take over the faction leadership from Hungary. I don't know if I really want to. I mean, that wouldn't be terrible, but... Eh, we'll see. We'll see. I do want our own faction. I prefer our own faction. I like our own faction. So, and I want to get more manpower too, because we definitely need manpower. But, I, I of course, again, I do want to do my own, our own faction. If we just leave, that'd be pretty good. We could leave the pact to Rome. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. But we're just fine on Romania right now, anyways. How we join Czech industry? The industries of Bohemia and Poland are disconnected and cohesive. We must work to rectify this and to make the most of our now united nations. Pretty much, as we are desperately trying to get the core back of Bukovina. Who cares about everyone else here? Uh, oh, wait, the Ukraine's by itself. Oh, then the Japanese allied common turn. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Alright, sure. We'll get on board. Can we just go and... Oh, yes, we can. Extensive conscription? Yes. War economy would be nice. And, uh, sure. Why not? Oh, no, we're fighting the common turn now. Russia. Oh, actually, sure, I'm okay with that Russia. That's fine. You guys do the best you can. Please grind out as much army xp as possible italy sure georgia you guys that's fine italy you will gladly accept a non-aggression pact with you for now that's fine with us hello <coughs> oh excuse me what are the losses like eight thousand not bad 150,000, well, that's pretty bad for them. We killed off 40,000, of course. Hungary has killed off 56,000. Wow, that's quite a few guys. Not gonna lie, that's quite a few. Propaganda would not be bad while we got it. Yeah, not bad. And we will reform the Commonwealth eventually. Kiddo is going to use more millies, which would be nice, nice, nice. We're trying to make a supply hub down here because it's just so bad. Supply hubs. I should really pay attention more to the, actually how we're conducting the war because it's so bad. There you go. Oh, what is that? From level 1, needed. 21, huh? That's pretty bad. Uh, what is this? Why is this so red? No supply connected from the capital. I'll give it a little bit of time. This should be okay. This should be okay. Um... Oh, no. Now we're fighting the Chinese. There you go. That should help out at least a little bit. Um, no supply, huh? It doesn't make any sense, but okay, whatever. Anything else? Bratislav? I mean, overall, not bad. Cool, let's actually take a look. Because we're just using a bunch of infantry here, anyways. Do that. It's fine. What do I just do? Cool. And join check industry, please. Thank you very much. We're going to war economy. Yes, we can. We just need more PP first. So after that one, we'll probably join the Czech military. Our military industries are separate and lack a united cause. We must assess and integrate the Czech industrial complex into the Polish armed forces. Uh, we got some of the carrier stuff. That's fine. Uh, no, but okay. We'll see. We'll see what we can do here. Not bad. Not nearly as much army speed as I hope to get, but. With 45,000 losses versus 101,000. Could be a lot worse. Alright, and let's go up next. Very good. Overall, not too shabby. With the Ukraine next, of course. Wow, Hungary, you are looking kind of mighty weird. Uh, with the tanks here, though, let's see what we can do. But these guys, like that, and do that too. Cool. And we're in a perpetual state of warfare. We'll see how long this lasts, because we'll just take all of Romania if we can. But after that, we'll join the Czech industry, and yeah. Let me know, should we stay in the, should we join the Central Powers? Should we go with our own faction with the Minamores? Or should we stay in our faction, attack Hungary? You know, all the good stuff. Just let me know what we should do in the comments below. But let's finish this one off with... Uh, I don't know why this still says 50. We need more than 50 owned factories. Because we own at least 49 millies and 81 civvies. So it doesn't make any sense to me, but... Finish the Central Poland, we'll invest in the old Polish region. Modernize old factories in Kiel, Skarzysko, Radom, Staracovic, and Ostovic, while also building new ones to strengthen our industry. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll explore other ways where we can, as Poland, make ourselves bigger, stronger, and, of course, more Polish. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great 
rest of your day.